Hey everyone, it's Sam here and today I am having a play with some new products from Creative Craft Products. These are the Bookmark Panel Collection, I believe it's called. There are two other parts to this. There is a sentiment stamp set and a paper pad. You'll see that on the website. Just follow all the links if you're interested. But I've still got a really nice amount of products here to have a play with. Now I have got my laminator at the ready and that's warmed up and I've got some of my laminating pouches there. But just in case any of you haven't seen this, you get your sunflower bookmark, lily bookmark, the aster bookmark and the pansy. And it's actually the aster one that I've used today. These kind of things I think are lovely if you do craft fairs. You can have a nice little pot with lots of these bookmarks inside. And they're also lovely to put on your cards as well because they obviously lay flat. So it's a really nice little, little gift that you can just pop inside the card or add it as a feature on the card as well. That looks really pretty. There's also these floral sentiments. So you've, I love the way that each of the different flowers come off the word. So you've got be kind and then you've got hi again, new chapter and love you. And then if you like your ephemera, these are the floral icons. Now, there are bigger bookmarks and you'll see them in a minute because I'm going to be laminating some of them. So like I said, I'm using the Aster today. I think they've all got the same amount, five dies, one stamp in all of them. You can see the hello, happy, peace, and this one's got love. So inside each of those sets, like I said, we've got the five dies. So you've got a few options on how you can build your bookmark. So if you want to, you can just cut the main die there. You could cut that multiple times in different cardstock, layer it up if you want it to be quite strong and dimensional. Cut that in pattern paper, stick it on the top, add some ribbon, you've got a really nice simple bookmark. But then you have this panel here. So you could cut that into this piece here, because this one here, it doesn't have an outline cut. So you can lay that on there and it will cut that design into that, um, into that bookmark. What I've done is I've used this here and I've just and just lay it down till you've got a nice equal border and just pop some tape on there. And then I pass that through using white card. And then I just got my alcohol markers and I just coloured it in. And now that's going to sit over the top. You can see that lovely design there. I then stamped the aster and again just coloured that using the same greens for the panel there and then some nice bright pinks actually goes perfectly well today with my <laughs> nails and then for the sentiment I have just cut it in black and I've popped it on some white card because I'm going to have it probably towards the top I need to see once I've laid this all out and then you've also got the die there for cutting your flower out okay so I'm just going to pop that to one side because I'm going to laminate everything all together so they're the four like I said main bookmarks and then you've got all these extra little words you've got lots of flowers there but I was having a little play around and I've already started to build them up so this one I've stuck together and I think I'm just going to have that play and I'm going to punch a hole at the top there add the ribbon on and I just think you've got a beautiful bookmark ready to go and then this one I pulled out these flowers from the ephemera and I was just again going to build up a nice and a cluster, I might have that flower over the top of that one. Pop them up on some foam. And then I was gonna have the happy at the top there. This one I've already stuck down, just kept that one nice and simple. Again, I'm gonna punch a hole and I'll add the ribbons to that in a minute. And then this one I also wanna laminate, but I wanna laminate each piece separately. And then I'm gonna punch a hole through and have it hanging off. So I wanna keep this one quite flat. Those ones I'll add the ribbon to later. I'm gonna build this one up I'm going to use some of my foam pads here. And I think this one does match up yeah, perfectly there. So I'm going to pop that one over the top first. I think I'll add that one there. I'll pop that one just behind. And then that one's going to be tucked in behind there. Maybe something like that. That looks quite cute. There we go. Very pretty. I'll pop that one with the rest. Right, my laminator is nice and warm. Just follow the instructions um, on your own laminator. So do this one first, nice and easy. Pop that one right up to the top so it's nice and straight. I'm just going to put them away from each other so I've got room to cut around. Before I add this in, some of you might have a carrier sheet that comes with your laminating machine. You could also just take a piece of copy paper and fold it in half and just sit it around the top to feed it through. 
I didn't have one with this one. I've been using it for a while and it's been fine. Just let that take that one through. I'm probably going to pass it back through again as well. So that's all laminated really nicely. So now with this one, I need to build it up. So there is, I'm not adding any foam, but there still will be obviously a tiny, tiny bit of um, dimension. I need to stick everything down now. I'm just going to add a small amount of glue. I just need this to kind of tack in place because, you know, once it's laminated, that's going to really flatten it anyway. Okay, so that looks lovely on its own. Really, really pretty. And then I think I'm going to have that one more towards the top. And then the love across the bottom. Doesn't matter if it overhangs because I'm going to cut around it. And then that one. I'm just going to trim off the sides of that one. So it's just the flowers that overhang. And sit that in. It just fits. And again, and then just pass that one through. I'm going to do it a couple of times again. Okay, so now we're going to cut these ones out. So we'll go to this one first. You can use your trim if you want, but I'm going to do this by hand. And there we go. Perfect. So once that's hole punched through there, you've got a really durable, long lasting bookmark. And then with this one, so it's, this one is not gone as close, like I said, because I have got the layers on it. So I'm going to cut this one right up to the edge. So it will give you a different look. So I'm just kind of fussy cutting here with this one. OK, so I've cut that out and then I'm just going to pass it through again. That one's all done. So you'll see I've cut right up to the edge now. Obviously, if I really picked at it, it would I could start peeling it off, but it would rip all of my design. So it is secure on there. The difference between the two is this one here, if you've got any like moisture on there or over time, it's just going to wear and slowly lift away. Whereas this one here is completely encased with that laminating sheet. But I thought it was nice to show you those couple of ways. If you do add a few layers, you can still laminate it. You just need to obviously cut right up to the, the edge there. So I'm now going to hole punch these ones. And with this one here, where you've gone over it, just take a little knife or even a hole punch. But because it's an oval shape, I need to um, kind of cut this one. So I'm just going to cut that out by hand. And I'm just going to find some nice little charms and some matching ribbon and then I will be back to show you them all finished. So those are my finished bookmarks. I'll just bring them up a bit closer so you can see. I have added the eyelets to all of them and then just the ribbon, little bow days and some twine. Again with this one here. I love this one. I've added a little heart charm. I've got some velvet ribbon there and then that thicker pink and then the bright pink there. And there's also a little heart brad to hold that one together. I think that's really cute. And then this one, again, I've added the little charm there. And then this one, it's got the silver eyelet there and the uh, ribbon with the bow. I think these are super cute, very, very easy to make. And they're great for, you know, many occasions you could do some nice Christmas ones and give a nice book as a present with your homemade bookmark inside. Like I said, if you have never used a laminator before, but you quite like this effect and using it in your paper crafts, on your cards, all kinds of ways, do check out the um, the playlist over on my Mixed Up Craft YouTube channel. And there's loads of laminating videos out there as well with lots of really fun tips and techniques. So all of the bookmark panel collection is over on the Craft Stash website and you can find that by clicking here. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that way you won't miss out on future videos. And you might want to check out this fun technique next for some more inspiration.